Hello and welcome dear students, professionals and learners to the very interesting topic on ENU stability testing. So always we know that there are some stability testing conditions and criteria for the pharmaceutical and medicinal products. But many of the times we don't know about the ENU stability testing and what are the requirements as per the regulatory agencies and how these studies are to be performed. So, in use stability testing will be discussed in the current video in detail. So, see, whenever there is a formulation and it has an expiry date that may be two years or three years from the manufacturing. So, that is also called as the shelf life period. But if the pharmaceutical product is a multi dose formulation, or multi dose for multi dose formulation in multi dose container or multi dose presentation then that that type of container or presentation is required to be studied for in use stability testing that means when the patient will take that container and will take the medicine on daily basis for some period so the in use stability testing is the period which is after the opening of the container by the patient. So, in use stability testing means establishing the time period for the multi dose product during which it can be used without any adverse effect on its quality. So, the product's quality is required to be maintained throughout the in use period. The quality in terms of the physical, chemical, biological and microbiological properties of the drug product are required to be in the specification. The product should comply the specification during its use period. So if there is any difference or any, any deviation from the specification, then that product is not stable in its in use period there may be degradation that may be chemical degradation or microbial contamination of the medicinal product due to repeated opening of the container during its actual use thus in use stability or in use testing is required see if you have a, a medicinal product like suspension or oral solution so patient will open the bottle on daily basis as per the doses administration requirement or prescription and due to that opening and use the product may get degraded or microbial contamination may happen so to check that the product is prone to the degradation or microbial contamination or not during its use period the in use stability testing is required the quality of the pharmaceutical product or medicinal product get altered once the once the container is opened thus stability period is always different for closed container and open container in use see the example we will consider here expiry period of 2 years that is for intact container but use within the recommended period once opened if you have a suspension product and its expiry is 2 years but that expiry is for the intact container and once you open it the recommendation will be there during which the content should be consumed or the content are required not to be consumed after that particular period. So that is the in use period. Once it is opened then in how much time it will lose its characteristics. So that is the in use time. Thus, it is must to establish the in use shelf life of the product. So that is also called as in use shelf life. See here examples I have included. A multi dose container that is bottle contain 30 tablets. The recommended dose is one tablet to be taken every day in the morning. Now see, if it contains 30 bottles 
and one tablet is to be taken every day in the morning then bottle will be opened 30 times till the completion of the dose of 30 days so each day one time the patient will open the bottle and take the tablet so once you open the bottle the content of the bottle should be well within the specification till the completion of 30 days then another example multi dose container bottle contains 60 doses of suspension the recommended dose is 5 ml of the suspension to be taken twice every day in the morning and evening so that bottle will be opened 60 times a month that is two times per day the bottle will be opened till the completion of the dose of 30 days in use stability data is to be generated to establish the in use shelf life for multi dose products for regulatory approval and the in use shelf life determination and the in use shelf life study is required for the product approval by the regulatory agencies here another example we will see this is the storage recommendation excursions and here is a statement that use within seven weeks of first opening the bottle so this example i have taken from publicly available information of the from the product reflect that use within seven weeks of first opening the bottle keep this and all drugs out of reach of children so these are the some instruction but the in use stability period is seven weeks for the product in this example then what are the requirements and how to establish the in use stability period so requirements are drug product batches you will have the drug product batches on which the in use stability testing is to be performed then you will have you will require or you will have testing protocol with design then you will have storage parameters testing parameters the testing data evaluation of the data and conclusions so based on this the in use stability period or in use stability testing is done and in use shelf life is determined see the drug product batches generally two batches are required but some of the products uh, by some of the agencies one batch is sufficient but minimum two batches are required which are to be pilot scale or primary batch like in exhibit batches these in use stability testing is done in use testing to be performed at the end of the shelf life as per the storage recommendation so this we have to consider in a very much detail see the example one multi-dose container or multi-dose bottle contains 30 tablets the recommended dose is one tablet to be taken every morning see now the bottle will be opened for 30 times till completion of the 30 days or completion of the bottle contents the expiry period to be established as 24 months that is two years and the product to be used within 30 days as per the above example now you have a product and your proposed shelf life is required to be 24 months and you have a bottle with 30 tablets the dosing administration requirement is one tablet per day so you you are going to charge the batch on stability for at least 24 months at the recommended storage that is generally 25 degrees celsius and 60 percent rh for oral solid formulations so that we will consider here the container is to be stored intact for long term storage of 24 months and after completion of 23 months the container is removed and tested for in use stability for 30 days see this this is the requirement because this will mimic the actual storage and in use that your product is sold at 23rd month and the patient will be using that formulation for the next 30 days so like this the stability testing is to be performed and from the stability testing sample 
is taken out and withdrawn for in use stability testing and in use shelf life recommendations if the product is to be marketed in multiple strength and packs presentations then suitable justification is required suppose you have a product uh, which contain 30 tablets per bottle 60 tablets per bottle and 90 tablets per bottle so which bottle presentation you will select that requires justification that which multi dose bottle will be tested for in use stability generally the bottle presentation or multi dose containers which are being sold to the patient those are required to undergo the in use stability testing and not the bulk packs if you have bulk pack of hdp bottle with 1000 tablets but that is not going into the patient hand that is for the pharmacy so that is not required to be studied for in use but if that bottle is required dispensing in multiple containers or for multiple times then in use testing is to be required to be performed but generally the bottles which are going into the hands of patients those presentations of multi dose containers are required to be studied for in use stability testing then testing protocol with design is required test design is required to mimic or simulate the conditions of the product as per the actual or during use like opening and closing of the multi dose tablet container or like opening and closing shaking removal of the dose of multi dose liquid containers and sampling to be taken place under normal environmental conditions of use as per the storage recommendations the sampling is to be done and the test which are appropriate to study the physical chemical and microbiological properties of the drug product those tests are required to be performed then study intervals see if you have a product with uh, 30 tablets and one tablet is taken every day so the in use period will be 30 days and the testing intervals will be initial that will be immediately after opening on day 1 then intermediate time points that may be 7 day or 15 days and at the end of the proposed in use shelf life on the final remaining amount of the product in the container see if you want to perform the actual study you can take multiple containers and you you can open and close them on daily basis as per the labeling requirement and you test one bottle at day 1 another bottle at day 7 another bottle at day 15 and uh, day 30 like this the in use test in use stability testing can be performed storage parameters as per the recommendations in the label pil and spc whatever the storage parameters are given in the spc or pil patient information leaflet that should be followed then testing parameters should be as per the doses form whatever the doses form is there tablet capsule suspension syrup solution as per that formulation characteristics these parameters are to be evaluated i have considered a example of tablet formulation here a bottle contains 30 tablets so physical characteristics like description color disintegration time is required to be tested chemical acid dissolution impurity profile and water content is required to be tested and microbial testing should be done at the specific intervals and at the end of the in use stability period the testing methods whatever the testing methods we are using for testing the parameters are required to be stability indicating then test data will be initial immediate uh, intermediate and end time data to be represented and compared to draw the conclusions on in use stability testing evaluation of the data and conclusions based on the results and data the in use shelf life can be given and justified additional storage recommendation and labeling instructions can be given on the basis of this in use testing in use stability testing data so here one example is there use within 7 weeks of first opening the bottle 
so this type of instructions are required to be given based on the date of in use stability testing another example of enal april malleate oral solution i have taken here they have given the uh, instructions like if stored at room temperature discard after 60 days as the recommended store is refrigerated state store in refrigerated condition at 2 to 8 degree celsius and clearly it is mentioned that if if stored at room temperature discard after 60 days avoid freezing and excessive heat so these instructions are given another is example given here dispense in tight light resistant container as defined in usp with a child resistant closer as required so if dispensing is required from the container then those dispensing instructions are given so this is regarding the in use stability testing why it is required for which type of formulations and multi dose containers it is required what is the basic and logic behind the stability testing that we have done uh, and we have elaborated elaborated it so for making this video i have referred in use stability testing guidelines by the regulatory agencies like usfd and ema i hope you might have cleared your doubts about the in use stability testing so stay tuned to this channel please do like share and subscribe to pharma learning in depth and keep watching the videos thank you